Anyway, from the, the Central Bank of Nigeria on Sunday described as fraudulent the operations of a fraudulent Twitter handle at Yusuf Philip Yila purported to belong to the bank's director, Development Finance Department, Philip Yusuf. According to CBN's director of corporate communications, Isaac Okura, for the imposter uh, handle had been posting messages related to the bank's 50 billion naira targeted credit facility. The spokesman, CBN spokesman said the fraudster was doing so with the intent of wooing unsuspecting loan seekers and owners of small scale businesses to enter into correspondence with the owner of the fake handle. The CBN official warned unsuspecting members of the public not to have anything to do with the said Twitter handle. And joining us is uh, Isaac Okorafo, who is the head corporate communications of Central Bank of Nigeria. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Okorafo. Thank you so very much, Amaka. Right. How are you today? I'm very well. Thanks for asking. How are you too? I'm good. Now, this recent fraudulent account is not the first. It is one too many. How does the CBN track these accounts and eventually resolve it? Well, um, of course, you know what is happening in the cybersphere. Um, a whole lot of uh, fraudulent people are operating on a daily basis, night and day, actually. And they try to deceive people mislead them and take their money off them and um <clears throat> it's been quite some time excuse me is it has happened quite a, a lot of times when that uh, some of these people try to either clone the accounts of uh, social media accounts or uh, uh, web web um, connections of some uh, officials of uh, either banks or government mm -hmm. and try that to try to use that to impersonate and um, take out people's money. At the CBN, we have had quite a number of it. Some people parade them, so they clone the Facebook accounts, and then they say they claim it's an account of um, uh, some of our principal officers. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the latest is the Twitter, uh, uh, fake Twitter account of um, uh, some of our, our officers, especially the, the director of development finance. And uh, when we got it, normally what we do is to get into study the account and then report it to uh, Twitter and then go into the place to tell people this account is fake mm -hmm. and this person is fraudulent. That's exactly what we have done. As, as a, a monetary authority, we have put in, in place a, a very robust cyber security and in, uh, system and internal control to, to controls to protect ourselves our systems uh, and, and the softwares and uh, the entire architecture uh, are among the best in the world. And of course, you know, cyber um, fraudulent people are always quite ahead of technology. But we do all, all we can to, to protect our systems. And so far, it has been very good. Uh, apart from protecting ourselves, we also have to do a lot to protect the banking system itself. Mm. And so um, banks are required to also um, uh, put in place the best kind of um, uh, system that you can get, foolproof, and they are required to also have the uh, know your customer um, procedure, to follow it through. And um, we, 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 we have also put in place, of course, the, the BVN, the bank verification number, mm -hmm. that ensures that nobody can steal your, your identity. It's, it's a, unique, a, a unique identifier that we have put in place so that you can't, you really have to go through all kinds of checks, including, including your biometrics, to be able to um, identify yourself within this uh, banking system. Okay, so, so, so that, yeah. that's for the banks protecting itself and trying to protect the public, as you've tried, you're have tried. explaining there. But how can yes. the public differentiate your authentic accounts? This has to do with, you know, social media now, where you know that the fraudsters are prying, so that, you know, people don't want to lose their money to fraudsters. It's quite crucial. Yeah, um, if you get into the social media, like in the Twitter, in Twitter, um, there is you, our account in Twitter is verified. Um, 
there is always, a, 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 if you like, a, a second factor um, authentication. Everything we put on Twitter or on Facebook or on Instagram or on Flickr, you will find in our website. So I urge the public, before you fall for anything, please go and check for you know, something that con con connects to that in our, on, on our website. If, if, you, if we tweet anything, you can always see something on our website that corresponds with that. And if you see an, a, a handle, if you see a handle on Twitter that has to do with or anything we are doing, be sure that it is the CBM verified handle, Ascent Bank, that you have. And so you, that's, that's one thing. Secondly, um, I would urge the public that anything concerning us, any link, anybody sends them, they should not click it until they have verified from our website that this link emanates from our website. That, that is very important. Right. Okay. Because our website is the, is the, is the root of all our communication. Mm -hmm. Head of Corporate Communications from the CBN, Isaac Okorafo, thank you so very much for your time with us. And do keep safe out there, sir. Thank you, Amaka. And please be safe too. All right, thank you.